Hello, 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 people of the internet. Welcome to MCC Library's Twitch channel. What was it? My name today here, what was it? My name is Andrew, though you're never actually going to see me today because who I'm actually here with today is the very wonderful, the very awesome, the one and only Liana. Whoa! Uh, and she's here with us from the Origami, was it with the Origami Club here, what was it, on campus at NC State, uh, though not necessarily on campus, <laughs> in person. Um, what was it, what we're making do, what was it, as we all are. Um, what was it, and now I'm just going to, and now I'm going to stop talking and let her introduce you to, was it, y'all beautiful selves. All right, well, uh, hi, guys. Uh, my name is Leanna, as as he mentioned, uh, and I, I do org a lot, and I've got some folding stuff to do for y'all today. I, I actually have a few options. First, I'm going to fold something I know and I'm good at and I like to show off, and then my second act will be something I've never, ever attempted before that is very fancy. So uh, for this first first one, uh, real, real quick, I, I guess I'm going to plug. So yeah, I run the uh, origami club at NC State. Uh, so what we do typically every meeting is once a week, we get together and uh, we teach each other to fold some some nice, easy stuff. So, you know, beginners, you don't have to feel intimidated if you're interested. Uh, it's very beginner friendly, like what I'm going to be doing today. Um, so there's my plug. And also, Here's the deal. Here's my options. So my first thing, I'm going to let you guys pick. Um, these are my four favorite things to show off. Uh, don't get the size mixed up because if I were to fold any of these, they're probably going to be, uh, you know, this one would be bigger and this one would be smaller. So uh, first option, we've got uh, a little human, uh, which I could talk about for a while. Uh, but this one's fun. It's got a lot of box pleating, which I will, I could explain later if people like. Uh, there's also, I've got a little rose here, uh, which is fun, one of my favorites. This one is a real crowd pleaser. This is the oh. uh, the magic ball. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, and we, we also have uh, fireworks. So this one's another, this is a modular example. So this yeah. one's plenty. This would, this is not one piece of paper. This is 12. So I, I could <laughs> fold this stuff in a decent amount of time. Uh, so, all right. If you're, if you want to pick, go ahead and maybe put something in the chat. Um, yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll yeah. just chat. Well, I guess we'll chat for a little while, while the things just start rolling in. What was it? All right. Um, Okay, so I personally have to say my I gotta if I if I have to cast my personal vote, it's gotta be the it's gotta be the cube. It's or not the cube. It's the magic. It's a magic ball. It's so the magic cool. Ball. It's so cool. Yes. What was yes, it? yes. 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 Oh my god! I. Oh, I ha like I always fidget with things, and like my hands are just like. Mm. You just want to play with it. Yes. So much. Yeah. It's. <laughs> It's fun. And the interesting thing, this is actually uh, origami tessellation, which is its own kind of branch of Whoa. origami. Um, so like a very basic origami base is the water bomb base. And it's like four folds. And you see these mm -hmm. tiny little square and it's oh, got yeah. like four folds. Mm -hmm. So you just take that and you stitch them all together, you know, offset it a bit. And, and that's how you get this crazy texture. Fancy. Fancy. That's so wild. What was it? Oh my god. Okay. So it looks like there is... What was it? So far, we're seeing fireworks. We're seeing fireworks. Okay. Fireworks is um, good, yeah. Yes. What was it? Oh, you know what? I totally loved... Okay, so I was kind of a nerd in high school, right? Um, yeah. As most, yeah. most people who are in the engineering college were. Um, I was in yeah. the math club right and we we had this one girl she was so awesome she what was it she always brought in hexaflexagons i think i think that's what he, she used to call them they yeah. were what was it and i don't know was it the fireworks that you were showing me just reminding me of that so much oh yeah there's there's like uh ones you can make that are like much simpler than this they're like three mm -hmm. pieces of paper yeah yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. those one yeah we made yeah, those yeah. in the club before so yeah yeah those are a fun one 
was it because my roommate's like a math major and like admittedly his his thing is not geometry <laughs> um and is like more number theory but like yeah i don't know this stuff is just like so rad i i love this so much oh what was it i just like okay what was it let's see abby says was it? Oh, by the way, shout out to our awesome moderator, Abby. I forgot to tell Liana this, but we always shout out our moderator yes. um, because we love them and they do wonderful things for us. And also, if we there you go, was it? If we make them angry, we get destroyed in chat. What was it? Ah. What was it? At least what was it? Um, at the very <laughs> at the very least, Abby Abby what was it? Abby mocks me mercilessly in chat. Um. <laughs> uh. But I am seeing so far that there are a lot of casts for moving ones. Um, okay, so I will put these these guys aside. Yes. And we've got these two. Yes. Okay. Uh, I. So I will personally say that I I I, I just I oh, I love the magic ball so much, but I do think that chat is saying fireworks more. Yeah, I do think I'm seeing more fireworks. So we're gonna go with fireworks. Sounds um, cool, Yeah, so let's let's get going. Uh, first things first, I'm going to pull out my massive pile of paper. Oh, I've got my a God. lot of this. Um, <laughs> Did you just and let's, Hobby Lobby and just, like, go on a clearance sale? Yeah, so let's uh, pick out some colors. Uh, yeah. I'm going to try to get some good colors going. So I lied to you all. Um, I said these all were, were models oh, that I knew. But then I realized I haven't folded fireworks in years. So um, I, hey. I've got the instructions up on the side. It shouldn't take too much to uh, you know, recall. But uh, yeah, I apologize. I did an untruth. No, yeah. you're good. You're good. What was it? I will say this is the internet. So they always, what is it? If this ever goes viral, you will have thousands of trolls coming after you. What was it? But the library's chat tends to be really nice. Um, so, we're good. Also, we love a challenge here. All right, we... good stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. No, you're good, you're good. What was it? So, what was it? Can you talk me to, can you talk me through, like, the jargon? I'm very, I, like, whenever I get into, like, whenever I meet someone who's, like, into a, a like, a new thing that I've met, who, that I've, like, I really know nothing about. I'm always very interested in like how people fit into like the community slash the culture. Oh, the culture of origami. That's that's, yeah. that's interesting. I mean, as you can guess, like I would say the culture of origami is very nerdy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's I yeah I I haven't met a lot of people who. I mean, I guess I've probably met more people than most that do origami, <laughs> but I've never. It's not like I've gone to like a convention or anything. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. And maybe you can count the club as that, but a lot of people are new there. But like people like me who have done it for years and years and years, mm -hmm. I haven't met very many. Um, so I, I guess the jargon would be very much just based on the the paper. There's a lot of paper folding jargon, gotcha. if that's what you're referring to. Yeah, 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 totally. Um, so there's less like jargon about social, like social interactions or like related to that, and just more about like the technical skills, assumably. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, I don't know about any social jargon. Like I've never heard anyone be like, "Hey, you wanna you wanna go like do do a fold, <laughs> do a fold," or like, I don't know. Well, is it you wanna join the fellow band of paper nerds? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I am partially trying to go off of memory here. Yes. And so this is actually the water bomb base I was talking about. So if you oh, notice, that's one tiny segment yeah, the, of this whole thing. The tessellation thing happening. Yeah, the tessellation thing. Uh, so let's see. All right. Come on, internet. Help me out. Okay. So I've got some of the right folds, but I need to do this as well. Mm -hmm. That's that's the great thing about origami, I'd say. It's very kind of accessible as far as, like, getting, like, as far as most crafts. Yeah, definitely. It's just a piece of paper. And then right. all the instructions are step-by-step, -step and they're online. Um mm -hmm. So that's nice, you know. Yeah, we love open source things here. What was it? We love, we love 
not we love knowledge open to everyone it's great well it's yeah. a fun time yeah it's a good time good time yeah. okay this is this is actually called a a, a blintz fold oh uh, yeah it's, oh, a, what now? <laughs> it, it's like a b-l-i-n-t-z or something weird like that mm -hmm. um and it's just when you fold them all towards the middle that's it that's it's i don't know why it's named that <laughs> but it is what is um, it Sorry yeah. to interrupt you. I'm getting uh I'm getting a question from Abby right now that's asking why some why some paper has color on one side versus having color on both sides. You know, I I think it, I mean it depends on the manufacturer or whatever. I think mm -hmm. if you get the like legit origami paper, it's usually just color on one side. And right. I don't know why that is necessarily. Um I, Maybe. this stuff is mm -hmm. both sides specifically because I buy it at Hobby Lobby and it's cheap. Hey, um, hey, we love, we, love, we love a good clearance sale. Yeah, yeah. So if, if you want, you can get 500 sheets of this stuff, six inch by six inch, for six bucks if you go in there with the like Hobby Lobby. Oh, wait, wait, I'm probably shouldn't be mentioning brands, but like, well, I mean, gives you some well, coupons. coupons. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, like, yeah. we're not sponsored by Hobby Lobby, well, it, and I don't think yeah, we can legally, we can, <laughs> I don't think we can actually legally be sponsored by Hobby Lobby, but, well, is it, there's a lot of arts and crafts stores where, like, there probably deals a lot like the one you're, like, talking about right now. Yeah, yeah, like, you get the app, and they're like, all right, 40% off on whatever you buy on one thing. Yeah. That's how like, I get my paper. Yeah, well, yeah. is it, because, like, I've got... We have like a local arts and craft supply store in my hometown, and like yeah. they still have an app. They still have an app. Like it's bare bones, but it's still like, hey, download this. You're gonna get like thirty percent off anywhere. What was it or any on anything in the store? And I'm like, sweet. Okay, I think I've just about got a unit here. Okay. Okay. I'm doing it kind of out of order, so I'm going to go back and do a couple a fold or two but then then i've got it got the Sounds whole shebang good. yeah what is it yep. i will say okay i'm very curious because i've always like i feel like this is just like a thing that everyone can use how do you achieve like a good crisp clean fold that is like perfectly ah. perfectly perpendicular and like like all the all the edges line up to the to the like to the right edges and there's no like bending in the wrong direction or anything yeah, yeah, okay, so a good, good folding, good folding. So I could actually, I could talk about that subject for a while longer than I thought I could. Like, I, I've got a lot coming to, to mind right now. Um, mm -hmm. So first things first, you're trying to do a good crisp fold. It's important that you have a nice hard surface for when you're starting out. And the important yeah. thing to get it in the right place always is always go, I mean, hopefully if your paper is square enough, hopefully, you always mm -hmm. go corner to corner, or you always line it up on the outside of the paper. Uh, so Ooh. I line it up here, and then I do like a little pinch, uh, and I do kind of like a basic fold, like very soft at the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, once I know, like, okay, this is right, and this right. is right, then I go down, get put a little fingernail on that sucker, and you yeah. just squish that thing, and there you go, nice crisp fold. We love every that every time. Was it like I just saw you like I don't know if this is like like way too specific, but I just saw you do like a thing at the very top when you were aligning the corners. Like you had like yeah, you, you were making like a square with your two index fingers and your two thumbs. Is that like a thing, or is uh, that just your thing? I I don't know. I maybe I I think it just <laughs> comes with practice. Like I, I don't consciously mm -hmm. go like okay, you know. Uh, but yeah, I think. Yeah, like, it's definitely, you just do it a bunch and things start to happen with your hands. <laughs> right, you know? right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But well, I'll it? tell you what, the, the experts in origami, they Ooh, don't use the okay. table at all to fold. What? Like, if you go over to Japan and you do one of their, you know, fancy pants origami classes. Uh -huh. I, I read an essay about this because I, I check out library books on this stuff. But uh, oh, so if you, the, the author went to one of those. And nobody, nobody used the table to fold. They were folding like a huge squid or whatever. And they were all just up here, up in the air. And they, apparently some experts in this stuff, they like really frown on using the table to fold. They're like, 
and that's that's some noob stuff um, <laughs> i think in america it's not as big of a deal like you know outside of you know everybody's just like whatever as long as you get it done <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, like, I just, I can't stop laughing at the idea of, like, there being condescend condescension over, like, whether or not you use a table to fold. <laughs> yeah, like, you go in that class, and you, like, put it down on the table, and everyone just goes, like, ugh. <laughs> well, so there's a Mean Girls moment happening here, but it's more <laughs> you walk in, and you sit at, it's not that you sit at the wrong table, it's that you're folding on the table. Well, they were doing Regina George, it's just, like, Hmm. What was it? I haven't seen you around before. <laughs> You're new. <laughs> yeah. Yep, what yep, yep. Ah, oh, I love this. Abby just, was it Abby just uh, typed on Wednesdays, <laughs> refold with pink paper? Oh, I yes, that's good. Oh, uh, I, I, I think love that so much. Now I kind of want to have like a themed origami club meeting. <sighs> Like, uh, I, I don't know what we would fold oh for Mean Girls, necessarily, but it would have pink paper, and it would be on a what Wednesday. Yeah. You, what was it? You know what you could do? You could do, um, what was it? Because they, because they have this moment, what was it? And for uh, all of y'all who are, for who this is age-appropriate, and if y'all are uh, under the age of 13, ask your parents before you do this. But, oh, boy, this is... Was it never, no, 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 no. What was it? It's just, <laughs> it, there's that, like, there's that one scene in um in in Mean Girls where like they dance in those like was it they dance in the was it in the Santa outfits was oh it, yeah 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 that one yes yeah, so you could do Christmas ornaments oh yeah yeah there's a, there's a really nice one where it does kind of a, like a like a this but it's like a circle kind of Christmas Whoa, thing oh I love that yeah. I love that so much yeah what was it yeah Oh, was I totally did not see this, Abby. I'm so sorry. But we missed a question about um, she's seen the special tools before, but she's never heard an opinion on if they actually help with folds. Special the, tools? Yeah, I assume that she's talking about like a good hard service because I don't think that there was any, anything else mentioned whenever you're talking about how to get like a good, crisp, clean one. Well, actually, so like in the internet, in the yeah. in the origami internet, there is Ooh, actually okay. I've seen I've seen channels where they have like this. It's like a like you know how the, they have those like Nutella knives. <laughs> They're like specially designed yeah. to like scoop the the thing. It it, mm -hmm. it looks like kind of like that, like this wooden thing, and she <laughs> this little like a, uh -huh. of a pen, and she use it to squeeze out her folds and stuff. I yeah. personally personally I think that's kind of unnecessary. <laughs> Seems a bit extra to me. Uh, but I don't know, like I use fingernails and if you don't have fingernails, if you like to keep it short, it could yeah. be easier that way. Or, or you know what, just mm -hmm. use a credit card. I mean, Honest. maybe not for online yeah. videos. Don't post that online, but like something like a credit card. <laughs> yeah. What was it? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm taking a look at something one of our librarians threw in the chat. Or it's a yeah. link for a bone folder. And it looks like if someone bone took a... It's like someone took a cross section of a crayon at the very middle. Okay. What was it? And it's just like a very flat. It's like there's a little tapering at the edges, but like, and it's like rounded at the edges, but like, it's what? It's like if you cut out a millimeter from the from the middle of a crayon. Whoa. And it's yeah. for folding. Apparently. Well, apparently oh. it's for folding. I don't know if that's. I don't know if it's actually like supposed. I don't know if it's a. I don't know if it's a good folding tool. What was it? Um, okay. I I will say I do recognize these because I know that we have a couple inside the library or inside the library baker space. Ah. Um, yes, in the book binding kit. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm what was it? Colin had. What was it? Colin and I have a one track mind. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I feel like in the origami world, like if you went to that like fancy Japanese teaching things where they frown on the table folding, <laughs> that would be like the extra, the extra noob cherry on top. They'd be like, "What is that thing? You, you don't belong. You don't belong here." Yeah. Folding paper. Get out of here with your. your... It's like wearing training. I think they would see it as like wearing training wheels and oh. going uh, on their bike ride with them. Oh my um, god. I love it. Was it? Because they're doing this in France, and I'm trying 
to very what was it to very slowly chug along on my tricycle here. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm coming, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was it? But not to frown on that. If anybody no. likes having those, I'm sure. Like I don't know. It's n maybe not my thing. But yeah. Like, was well, it? I sounds fun. I definitely can see like why from like a, an accessibility standpoint why people would use those. Yeah. Yeah. I can see it. Yeah. Um. Also, I guess maybe if you just don't let, like paper cuts or something. Yeah, it? maybe if you if you're afraid of the paper cuts, I can yeah. see it. Was yeah. it? Because I was like folding with any like folding with anything that is not just your bare hands is hard, right? I I can't I imagine assume. using like a a little wooden tool to fold like. But I don't, I don't know. That's I I've I've grown up doing it, you know, the hand way. So I just can't <laughs> imagine any other way. Right. Like it's not like you've grown up with like just, hey, what was it you're you you learn how to how to fold origami with um three sets of gloves and also some mittens. <laughs> what was some it? Some mittens. Uh, was it mittens? Sorry. What was it? Um. Oh. Was it? There's a good there's a good question from Abby in the chat asking when you started doing origami. Oh yes, okay. So I have a funny story for that actually. Um, yes, yes. I, have, funny I have a funny story for everything these days. I say that a lot. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so when I was I started when I was eight years old in the third hmm. grade. Uh, Whoa. So it was yeah yeah I was one of those nerd children. Um, <laughs> But our, our teacher, my third grade teacher, he wasn't our teacher, he was somebody else's teacher. That's mm -hmm. important for later. But anyway, okay. uh, he, after we finished our end of grade exams, he's like, all right, guys, I'm going to teach y'all how to fold some origami. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I learned to fold like a little cup. It was like three folds and like a little sailboat. And I was like, wow, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. And then like a week later, my sister bought me this origami instruction book. And the rest is history. I started folding like a madman <laughs> and and par part of it was because my sister she was the artist of the family mm -hmm. and I, I was good at math but she had like art on lockdown you Ooh. know like when when my parents heard art they were like look at this sister but I, I wanted to like I needed my own like niche market and mm -hmm. my own niche market so no. I was like well my sister doesn't do origami so I'm gonna <laughs> do origami um and it's so, yeah so that was my motivation because she could never fold like i could she could draw she could paint she could do everything mm -hmm. but she never folded that was my I, territory i love that i love that so much was i'm an only child so like this stuff like hearing about siblings fascinates me what was it did she ever try was it did she ever be, did she ever try to like corner in onto your territory and just like attempt a coup <laughs> no i I don't think she did. I think it was one of those things where we both liked being better together uh, at a certain mm -hmm. thing. <laughs> so, like, I, I think she saw that, like, I was already so fantastic at it. If she tried, she wouldn't be able to, like, catch up, make much catch up. So she's just like, mm. ah, I'll just let that be Anna's thing. I, I think that was the thinking. I love it. I love it. It's great. We're having, yeah. um, we're having, uh, the, we're having a lot of, like, I don't know, House of Cards, the crown, the crown moment here. I love it. It's great. <laughs> uh, but anyways, funny, funny story. Uh, so this yeah. last over winter break, I had a part time job. I was working for uh, the city of Raleigh at one of the parks. Ah, um, we love yeah, it was it was a good time. It was fun, fun gig. Uh, mm -hmm. But I I met a um, one of my coworkers there turned out to be my third grade teacher that taught me what? what taught me. Yeah, That's yeah. So, so I, wild. I, I, rec I reconnected with my third grade teacher for a bit. It was a little awkward. It was, it was very awkward, but. That's, I mean, that's hilarious. And that, like, <laughs> it's, I love it. Was it? It's a small world. It's small so... world. Yeah, yeah. That's so The great. best part was, it took us, like, three weeks to realize. <laughs> <laughs> so you, just, you were just, like, working Wait, wait, how, like, did, like, were you the one that realized first, like? Yes, you... yes. Okay, 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 yeah. walk me through how that happened. Okay, so how that went down was, 
we had this conversation and it was it was so dumb looking back you know uh you know we had masks on all the time so like yeah. the top of his face looked kind of familiar but like you know mm -hmm. i couldn't see his whole face uh, but then we had this conversation at, at work one day i was like manning the craft table to like give give little foam things out to kids mm -hmm. and he came over and he was like, hey, uh, can I have some paper? I like to fold origami. And I was like, no way, I like to fold origami. And he's like, yeah, I was a school teacher for all these years, and I always taught my kids origami. And I was like, that's neat. My teacher taught me origami. That's how I learned. <laughs> nobody realized. Nobody thought about it. Didn't even think to ask. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. That's so great. Yeah, and then uh, like a week later, I was taking over for a shift from him, and mm. like, he had his like initials on the thing, where I had to go put yeah. my initials, you know, like work. Mm -hmm. And then I saw his initials, and I was like, holy crap, it's him! <laughs> <laughs> like he, his last name like snapped into my brain, and I was like, oh, the third grade. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love yeah. that so much. Well, is yeah. it? Well, is it? Shout out to my old third grade art teacher what was it mr baker if you're out there what was it you were great i think <laughs> it's hard to remember it's really hard to gauge when you're that young you know looking yeah. back yeah well because like i know i have a couple of friends who are teachers now and they're like so yeah i am um, i kind of like left the classroom for like 10 minutes to go talk to like because they had to go talk with another teacher and i totally forgot there were still kids inside and i'm like dude what Wait, sorry, say that again. I missed it. Well, well, is it like I have like I have like I have friends who are teachers now. Admittedly, they're like yeah. new, but like yeah, they, was it one of them was telling me like that they just like there there was a class going on, but that something happened with another teacher, so they had to like step out for like ten minutes, but, and he came yeah. back and he was like, "Oh fudge, I forgot there were children still here." <laughs> it like turns the light out on his way out. <laughs> Was it? That's funny. Oh. Well, is that apparently the children, they just, they didn't, like, they totally did not miss him. <laughs> was it? So, I mean, no harm, no foul. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they were fine. Nobody's yeah. on fire. Yeah, well, then, nobody's missing a finger. We're good. We're good. Yeah, yeah. All, all the little Timmies are all right. <laughs> yeah. Well, was it? Um, was it? Oh, by the way. Was it? I tend to shout this out for Abby. Was it whenever she moderates for me when I stream? But if anybody's watching this and they want to give Liana a was it after after she graduates from grad school or heck maybe during grad school? I don't know. What, I don't know where plans are. But if anyone wants to give Liana a, a like a very fancy job with a very fancy title and pay her lots of money, was it to do very great art? Was it or to do very great math things with Civil? Do that. Oh. Well, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You should, you should pay her big bucks. Yeah, pay, uh, thank you. Big bucks, please. That would be nice. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, or even medium bucks. I'm not picky. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, was it? yeah we, we take all bucks of all kinds here. We don't we don't discriminate against the type of bucks that we get here. Yeah. Well, yeah, it? yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Like, I got, I got a rainbow going on. Oh, it's fun times. We love it. We love it. Yes. Yes, rainbow time. <laughs> well, is it? I love, like... Personally, like, I don't. I know you said like your sister was the art per, art person primarily, but yeah. like, well, I got to go see the MoMA once with my parents, and like, I saw. No, wait, no, this was this was the MoMA. Wait, was it the MoMA? I think it was the MoMA for. I saw the the water lilies. Um, water lilies. Yeah. What was it? Oh fudge! I forgot what their uh who the artist is. It's like Monet, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah Monet. Oh yeah, I love yeah. me some Monet. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Monet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yes. And yeah. I like ever since then, I've like been in love with like pastel colors. What ah. Was it? What was it so like I'm so digging like the yellow and the green that's happening right now. It's so great. It's so cool. Great. Yeah, nice gentle colors. Yes, yes. Very peaceful fireworks is what yes. it's gonna be. <laughs> Rainbow fireworks is what we're going for here, people. Yes, very, rainbow fireworks. Very silent fireworks. Yeah, very, very quiet, you know, pet friendly fireworks. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they'll love it. Yeah, but, it's yeah. like, um, I know, what was it? There's like some things, like some, I know that so, like, some people watch like, we're essentially like clip shows of kaleidoscopes, 
of like digital kaleidoscopes renderings Whoa. um Whoa. to like calm down and i'm like that's what this is what was it yeah yeah this is uh, like yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that could yeah. be good yeah yeah it's, it's a good uh chill it's it's a chill firework if yeah. they're yeah and it? yeah and if you if you ever do origami for stress relief mm -hmm. it works pretty i mean if you if they're easy instructions and you're not stressed about doing them, because we'll see how stress relieving yeah. the, the next model will be we'll see about <laughs> that but like if you're doing something like this it's nice and simple like you never get creator's block or whatever right you know those instructions are there you're just kind of going through it right it's kind of like doodling right yeah was it? I, yeah. I, I also assume that like at some point muscle memory just starts kicking in and you're just like okay well, I've done like twelve of these so far. I don't even need to like look anymore. I can just do these blindfolded. Okay, that actually, yeah, I I've done that with cranes before. What? Um, That's so wild. So, oh, something I didn't mention before is most of the time I folded origami. Uh -huh. I just happened to do it during church. Um, <laughs> those were my my main folding hours. Mm -hmm. Um. Ooh, that's a good question in the chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna come to that yes. in just a second. Yes, yes. Um, but folding in church, I would do challenges for myself. And, and one time I was like, I want to try to uh, fold an origami crane without looking, and I did it. But I couldn't show anybody till church ended. <laughs> you we're know, we supposed to be reverent and all that. Mm -hmm. um, I got in trouble <laughs> once because I made a four foot origami lizard in the pew. Not my mom noticing. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's, yeah. So great. that's so great. Uh, I had already had gotten into big origami by then, uh, but yeah, uh -huh. I started. It was like modular. It was this huge lizard, four feet long, <laughs> and, and it would move and stuff. And I was, I, it was me in the pew, then uh -huh. my sister, then my mom, and my mom's just trying to like pay attention and stuff. Right. But my sister, she sees me doing this, and she tries to tattle on me. So she goes like, "Mom, mom, look!" And mom's like, "No, I'm not having it. I'm paying attention to to the service. Thank you very much." Mm -hmm. So after sacrament ended, she finally saw, and she was just like, "What the heck? What the heck, child?" <laughs> and I, I like lifted the whole thing out of the pew, like intentionally be as disruptive as possible after church ended. I was like, "Look, everybody!" Uh, it, it ascended from the pew. I love um, that. I love that so much. I was so extra carrying it out of there. I like held it over my head. And, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> That's so great. I mean, look, if you've got a four foot origami lizard, you gotta flaunt it. You gotta flaunt that thing. Yeah. You gotta show off your handiwork. Yeah. Let everybody know you were paying attention in church for realsies. What is it? Especially that part about the origami lizard showing up there. What was yeah, it? Yeah. Um, that, that's great. What was it? <laughs> oh, what was it? Oh, oh, I also just, I'm sorry, I just saw the, I just saw the question that you were talking about. Yes, the question yeah, in chat, yeah, yeah. I, I, I will answer that, I promise. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, okay, so I think I, I actually have come up with some of my own designs. Um, but oh boy, this is this is a deep subject because yes, that is a thing people do, but there's so many different ways to go about it. Mm -hmm. There's there's two camps basically. There's yeah. the traditionalists and then there's the scientists. Ooh, okay. Yeah. All right. So the traditionalists, you know how origami was like originally, but like you just play around with the paper, right. and you're like, I want to make an elephant, and you just kind of play around and hope you can try to make an elephant. It usually takes a bunch of pieces of paper, but eventually trial and error, you find like the right base and you find how to make a good trunk and you make right. yourself an elephant. Right. And, and that's it's the like... way I like to do it. Sorry, go ahead. No, sorry. I was just going to like comment that like, it sounds a lot like it's like based on intuition and just like opening yourself up to the chaos and accepting it into your heart. Yes. And like exploring with the paper and being like, mm -hmm. hey, you know, I've made this base a dozen times, but what happens if I do this little thing? You know, what mm -hmm. if I tweak it this way? What happens? It's, right. it's very, very much exploring. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how I like to do it because, and I've made a bunch of models that way. I've made a bunch of random stuff. Like I, I showed, 
uh, Andrew, you in the, the meeting the other day, the uh, origami peridot from Seven That's Dwarfs. right. Oh my God, I love that so much. Yeah, oh. and that came about because, all right, so we've got this little guy here. Right. And he's based off a square, right? Like, it's yeah. just a grid that you kind of fold together. So Peridot came about when I was like, what if you take this square and you try the same grid, but like when it's diagonal, like, um, Whoa, that's wild. Yeah, what if you put the grid on a diagonal and that turned into a Peridot? So I, I ran with it. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's how a lot of people, that's how I would say beginners make new things. Mm -hmm. um, but then there's the scientists. And that's where it gets really oh. crazy. Oh, yeah, because yeah, you're, you're, you're telling me that, like, there's a couple, like, four leaders in the origami community about, like, who make really wild <laughs> stuff. And, like, the dude from NASA who's, like, just wild as get out. Okay, all right, yeah. My favorite, my, or, my favorite origami dude, besides Akira Yoshizawa, who founded, like, he... he Akira Yoshizawa is like the moder the father of modern origami because he brought it back Whoa. into vogue, but he's a traditionalist. That was okay. like in the 40s. Okay. But Robert Lang is my other favorite origami guy. And oh he's, my God. He's, yeah, he's the math man. Oh, oh that's right. Uh, I forgot about yes. his name. Cause like, yes. I know he also, like, he's also famous for like other stuff too, not just for like origami, I'm pretty sure. Really? Robert Lang? I, Maybe? I think so. What was it? Hold on. Let me let me just Wikipedia him really quickly. And maybe yeah, do, do a Google. Do a Google. Yes. I would encourage everyone to Google Robert Lang origami and check out specifically the Black Forest Cuckoo Clock, because that thing is insane. Yeah. Um, it is so my origami wild. dream. It's so wild. Incredibly oh. wild. Oh my god. This is yes. so... Okay. Or was it? Oh my God! They, huh? Was it? He's a complete math man. Apparently, he is an electrical. Was it? He was an electrical engineer, but he's just a full math man. What was it? Also, he just does quantum electronics. Just because why not? Apparently, that's wild. This, this is his textbook on origami. Oh my um, god, that's the one that you showed me the other day. Yeah, yeah. So Robert Lang, he wrote a textbook on it, which is where I'm going to be getting the designs for later. Um, yeah. But apparently I read in his textbook once, back when I had free time like that. Mm -hmm. I, I read in it. He was, like, inspired by his work with lasers. His, like, physics work with lasers. Yeah. And it yeah. inspired him to do an origami thing. I don't that's... even know how. <laughs> That's it. That's it. What was it? I remember I heard his name because I've got a, I've got a, what was it? I've got a roommate who's like a physics, he's a physics major and also an aero major. And he's like, so like his, like, like the dream is NASA, like many aero majors, but like, it's very intense for him. And he was like, I just, I just want to work with Robert Lang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Even oh, though, the... Sorry, I go think... ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, I think the Wikipedia page is saying that Robert Lang left NASA, like, in 2011. So maybe he's not going to get uh -oh. his room anymore. Just crash his house in, <laughs> in like, uh, California. Yeah. What was it? Hey, what was it? Roommate, if you're watching this, follow along with Liana and maybe just bring him, some, like, some really awesome origami thing. And maybe, he'd be, maybe he'll be like, I want to come back to NASA to work with you. <laughs> I'm gonna come back just for you. I'm here for you, man. Yeah. 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 What was it? I love that. What was it? Ooh. What was it? So, question. I love this thing that we're okay. building. What was it? And I'm very curious to see how it's all gonna fit in. How many of these are we building? <laughs> just out of curiosity's sake. Oh, yes. 12. 12 is the number. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Was it 12? It's the wish an hour. What was it? And it's also the number of points that we got here. Yes, 12. 12 okay. points. Love it. Love it. It's math. What was it? This, like, there's that meme with, like, this, with, like, the matrix. Just, like, you see all the numbers in front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, What was it? I feel like that's what people who make, like, origami designs. Oh, that's the second part. We never got to that part. I'm sorry. I interrupted you before you were keep going. The scientists. Oh, Oh yes, the scientists. So the scientists are freaking crazy. 
Okay. Um, and what they do, and what, what people write, like Robert Lang do, is they, it's like they don't see origami as something you do with paper. They mm -hmm. see it as like the rules of the universe. Like, like what? origami showed up in a lot of different cultures independently. And the theory is that it relies on basic mathematical principles. Right. It, it, like it wasn't, origami wasn't invented. It was discovered. <clears throat> Like that's it, that's where they're coming from. What was it? Oh, that totally makes sense. What was it? My math major roommate is like he always goes on about like like whatever he and the physics roommate have like a nerd like just like jam session together. They're always talking about yeah. like, geometry and the way like the planes of the universe fold together. What was it? Yes. Yeah. What was it? Something something string theory, something, something. There are eight dimensions. What was it? Something something. Man, I don't know. Well, I'm just a concert yeah. major. I'm, I'm yeah. just here so, It's it's crazy. Yeah. So the the scientists, instead of playing with the paper, what they do is they've created mathematical programs to you you put in what you Whoa. want, like a, a line diagram of the base of all the yeah. goals, or, you know, of all the points and things you want, and then mm -hmm. the computer program tells you the 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 crease pattern for the base. And then you can make crazy intense stuff through like science, through origami. Wow. So like, that's so wild. Robert Robert Lang has a whole line of like incredibly realistic like bugs and animals and and things uh, that he made through his program. That is so wild. Wait, hold on. Question: When you say like yes. an algorithm, such a computer software program. Are you telling me that this thing is like just out there for us to use, or is this just like Robert Lane just talking about his like proprietary work in like in an interview? I think it's okay. Uh, so Robert Lane has a couple of good TED talks. He has a TED talk about how it works. I believe yeah. the program is called like Tree Maker or something like that. Tree Maker. Uh, I okay. I think you can get it. I okay. think it is. I, I I'm not a hundred percent sure on that because I haven't tried. But mm -hmm. I, you, I think you can download software that helps yes. you fold fancy yeah. origami. I see it right now. Was it there is an, an it, the entire thing is on GitHub? What was it? Oh, by the way, for the people at home, GitHub is just like wherever anyone and anyone who's a programmer codes, they threw it onto a website called GitHub. Whenever they're like, I don't want to keep this on my computer forever. Um, what was it? So and it's like a. It's like the Facebook of programming, like instead of you putting your childhood pictures, you put your programs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it, except it's also like LinkedIn because like you get hired based off what you make, right? And whoa, your skills. Whoa. Yeah, whoa. so it's like Facebook. <laughs> it's like the two worst social media platforms combined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? But this is so wild. I'm looking at Shoemaker right now. What was it? Like, the, okay. Admittedly, I'm looking at the code alone right now. The code is so intense. It's so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. There's there like... are people who are getting graduate degrees in this stuff. Like, oh, my yeah. God. I Yikes. I Oh, dear. Ah, uh, fudge. I don't... There's, there's so much happening here. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> like, there are so many... Okay. There's, like, I'm in one single folder right now. There's roughly, like, 60 files in this one folder, and there's, like, oh 20 of them. I don't... I'm sure the user experience is a little easier, right? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Less no. intense? No, 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 this is, like, this is, like, the code. This is, like, well, it's, like, pulling the curtain behind a theater production. What is it? Just a lot it's under just, the hood. Yeah, there's a lot of chaos happening right there. Um, But, like... I'm looking at like an article on TreeMaker, and they've got photos of it right now, and it looks wild. What was it? Cause like I didn't know this, but apparently, um, in 1971, Arthur Apple was it spelled A P P E L, which seems wild to me. Programmed in the IBM. real founder of Apple. <laughs> yes, the real founder of Apple. Well, was it programmed in the <laughs> IBM Systems 360 computer to print out simple geometric configurations at the rate of more than 100 a minute. 90% were, was it useless, but raised the question of could, uh, could a computer design a model that's deemed superior 
这台是在卖美安。Ooh, ooh. Which is so. Uh oh. Uh, and then like the rest of the article is just like going into this, but like, oh wait, no, this is Robert Lang's. Oh no, this is just his website. And then talking about how he made Trainmaker. Okay, well, I guess the answer is yes. The answer is yes. Okay, there is there is a thing though. Yes.、Uh, so right now I think like the the software what it can do is it can punch out the the crease pattern. So say like、yeah. if this was the final thing, it could punch this out. But it doesn't tell you how to go through and make all the folds in order. So、mm -hmm. if you do that, you have to figure out how to fold it together step by step,、ah. uh, which is which is the hard part.、Um, I see. I see. So the the computer's not all the way there yet. You know, it's not well, time for the、uh, what is it、right. when, when robots take over? What was it?、Uh, the technological apocalypse. Yeah, we'll go with that. I think there's a、yeah. better word for it somewhere in the world, yeah, but I, I think、true. that's pretty descriptive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so well, we're not there yet. Vending machines aren't gonna. Was it the vending machine that I frequent at three a.m. in the morning? Will not. Was it? Ang. Was it? Will not be able to fight me. <laughs> <Was> <laughs> yeah.、It? The singularity. That's the word.、Yeah. That's it. That's, that's it. That's it. Singularity. What was it? Um. Ah. What was it? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe maybe my senior project will just be, what was it? How what was it? It'll be tree maker, but with steps on how to fold things. Ah,、uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> the end is nigh. <laughs> the well, time I, is here. Ah,、uh, was it? I'm, like I'm starting to do like very low grade rough estimates of how hard this would be right now, and I'm like, no, I don't want to do this. <laughs> like, it, it'd be fun, but I don't want to do this. <laughs> Just like, ah,、oh, what was it? Um, oh, what was it? There's a good comment from Abby though about how she's picturing how origami could be useful for making scientific equipment like Mars landing parachutes and stuff. Which, yeah, yeah, like telescopes, everything. Yeah, what was it? Because I've got a friend right now who is, who's actually an old coworker from the makerspace. Tanya, if you're out there, I love you. You're awesome. What was it? Um, and she works for this company. Called, oh fuck! I forget what they do. I forget what they call, but like they three D print in space. Was it because like so, apparently wait, they print in space? Yeah, like, I, like in space. Yeah, in space in zero G, which seems wild to me. Because、oh. like, yeah, right, right. Because I'm like,、what? hold on, you need gravity. That's how that's how three D printing works. What was it? I mean, I guess not technically, but like. I don't know how you. I don't know how you counter. I don't know how you work around gravity existing for three D printing. Because for those who don't know how, who who don't know how three D printing works, basically you take whatever you want to print out of. What was it? And you throw it into what is like a pasta extruder. Um. After like after it heat was it that's like heated up to like whatever it is the melting temp is for the for the material, and then like a large amount of degrees. Right, right. What was it like the norm, like the average for like PLA, which is the stuff that we usually use in the space, is like two hundred degrees Celsius, which is very hot. <laughs> um, and like you throw it onto the, you throw it onto like, and so like it extrudes into the belt plate, and it like sticks because a gravity, b as it cools, you know, like it creates that like adhesion thing happening.、Hmm. Or、yeah, something, something,、yeah. something, something chemistry, something, something physics, something, something. It's it's beyond my pay grade. What was it to tell you what that ha how that or why that happens? But like, it's also I also understand that like, and so like you make a layer one by one. So I don't know how, and I assume that gravity does a lot to like you know help it all stick together. Otherwise, it could just go flying out. And I'm very I don't know. Well, I'm I'm going on a different tangent. But well, that she three prints in space. What was it? And she was. Was it? She was telling me about how like they, like especially like they all. What they also do is they do like they ship solar panels and they print them in space and then they unfold them in space because it saves、oh. space on, or it saves like、uh, storage or it like reduces、oh, yeah, the need、yeah. for storage、um, on the rocket or not the rocket the shuttle. My bad. Was it my air my air major roommate would have was it come after me. <laughs> If I had correct, if I correct myself, what was it? But、uh, I have bad news. What was it? I'm what? So I can't find a twelfth color. 
No. I have, a, I have 11 pieces here, but I can't find a 12th different color. Oh my god, that's so tragic. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is there a white bear that I see? Can we go with white? A white? I, I, I don't think there's a white. I think you're, you're seeing the cardboard. Ah. Uh, unfortunately. That is tragic. Uh, very tragic. Wait, maybe... No, that's... Hmm. Alright, sorry. You, you go on. I'm gonna yes, keep troubleshooting yes. over here. Yes. What was it? Because, like... Okay, so Abby just dropped a link for a PDF about NASA's whole War Planet Made in Space. That's it. That's the name of the company. Um, I found white paper. Hey, uh, let's do it. Well, it seems remarkably Scissors. larger. Okay, great. I was like, okay. Yeah. What was it? Lot. What was it? Sounds good. Oh, um, and a ruler. My hey, husband's uh, very helpful. Ah, uh, what was it? We love a supportive partner. What was it? Um, husband, if you're out there and you're listening, you're rocking. Um, uh, honey, he says you're rocking. <laughs> he laughs. Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> what was it? This is so wild. What was it? Oh, this makes sense. Okay, what was it? Because obviously they don't have manufacturing like plants um in space or on planets that are not earth whenever they do like actually live on whenever apparently we, yeah usually we Mars. yeah whenever that is yeah whenever that is we uh so this is a great quick tutorial if you ever have yeah, a yes, rectangle is, yeah. and you want to make a square th this is how mm -hmm. you do it you just now now you have square you just gotta cut yes. that part off right you fold you make the square and then you fold off. You you fold up and then you fold off the excess and then you cut it off, right? That is, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I I like ripping paper better. Um, Me too. So I'm probably gonna you, actually do that. Because if you like, if you do it slow, it's like sometimes and you get like the crease right. And it's like it's so much cleaner than like a scissor. Yeah, it is. Check that out. Check that hey, out. yeah. Because like scissors, whenever you like, like, because you have to make multiple cuts with a scissor. But with the tear, yeah. you can just make, if it's a really good day, you can just make like one continuous rip that's just like so clean and crisp. Amen. Yes. What was it? Ah, I see. Okay, because there are no manufacturing, there aren't manufacturing plants for like the random things that you need whenever you live, like whenever humans live. Apparently NASA, that's the reason that 3D printers were like a a big thing for them. Gotcha. Which makes sense because sending a shuttle and just sending materials seems a lot more efficient. What was it? Which totally makes sense. That's yeah. so well. I love it. Um, but I hope that's six inches. Probably about right. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally not like if it's totally not like overcome is dependent on the math. Was yeah, it? We're good. It's, not, We're good. it's not like you have to be precise. <laughs> nah, nah. All right, disclaimer that does help a lot if you're precise. So yes, <laughs> I'm totally being facetious. Yes, yeah. We don't we don't we don't want to miseducate you with our joking. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, I'm assuming, especially with, like, the modular pieces, especially, like, with symmetrically modular pieces, like, having the having the dimensions be exact for all of these are very helpful slash necessary, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, I mean, it helps. I think with the module, I, you can always get by. I, mm -hmm. I always say this in the club meetings, but, like, one of the main rules of origami, how you get anywhere really, is you just gotta uh -huh. manhandle it. You just gotta make it work for you. You just gotta force it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. That's totally, that, yep. What was it? It's uh, practically a step. I just say like, all right guys, time to manhandle it. Just, yep. just make it work, force it. Yep. <laughs> yep. What was it? Elegance and origami? Whoever, whoever, whoever said that, what was it? We're here. What was it? What was it? The making it pretty part comes later. The first yeah, part. Yeah, making comes... it. 
Yeah. The making part first. The first part is first. just making it work. And yeah. and then you try to sculpt it into something pretty at the end. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. yep. All right, throw that away. <laughs> we got white paper. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Whoopsies. We're just going to, you know, we're going to go with it. We're going we're gonna to try it out. I'm going to see if you're I gonna, can make this work. You're going to, uh, uh, what was it? To to quote Abby, you're gonna make the paper bow to your supreme will. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. 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 I love it. We're here for this. Okay, I think the biggest problem with potentially cutting your own paper mm -hmm. is uh, making sure it's a, a perfect square, which is much harder than you would think because right. if, if it's if it's not a close enough square, when you try to do this diagonal, you'll have like extra on the end. Now I'm just right. a little bit extra. Right. So it, like, it should be fine, but... Like, making any kind of perfect object is just really hard to begin with, right? Or yeah, like... really. Even these aren't perfect. Uh, they're just right. good enough that I can't tell <laughs> on my level. Yes. Um, what was it? Oh, oh my god. What was it? Uh, what? Ab Abby threw shots at me whenever I was talking about... Like the whole, I'm gonna make my senior design project. What was it? Um, adding the steps to Robert Lang's Tree Maker. Yeah. Um, because she knows that I, uh, I have a really big addiction to Jeopardy. Um, <laughs> what was it? My my roommates and I have like a Monday night tradition of pizza, Jeopardy, and boba tea. Um, nice. What was it? Yeah, I love it. What was it? And she, she told me that robots are better at Jeopardy than people. Which is sad because I, I I know the exact clip she's talking about and I've seen that episode like four different times, and she is correct. Yeah, it's amazing how many things computers are already better at than people. Like um, yeah. What I'm using is my mat right now. It's my my husband's hobby, which is Go. There's a Go club at NC State. I'm just gonna go ahead and shout out for them too. Yeah, um, do it. It's a it's a four thousand year old board game. Right. Uh, yeah. Um. And they've already got like the computers are already way better than humans at this point. Like right. it's not even it's not even an argument or anything anymore. It's just like, you know, if you do against a bot, the bot's probably gonna wreck you. Um, right. Was it because I Okay, uh Dallin just uh shouted me some fun fa factoids. Uh apparently uh -huh. the, the highest the the best bot in the world at Go is already like mm -hmm. several several times stronger than the strongest go player human go player in the world like it's it's up there yeah um, that sounds about right yep so well, it's, it's closer to like, the singularity because I, <laughs> I know that there um there was like a big upset with because i think google is usually the one that makes it if it's not microsoft um like i, I remember google did a whole upset for chess a couple years back was it Chess. oh actually yeah i think so but i'm actually gonna stop talking because i actually want to focus on was it how you're putting these things together because what's happening more. yeah okay yeah because basically we've got like two nubs here and you right. just kind of like put the other one over the first one like a jacket that's ah. the best way i can describe it and you hey, just do that 12 for... times very fitting yep. for a very cold day outside today. Yeah, very mystery day. Yes. Yes, Stay indeed. warm, everybody. Yes, please. What was it? And if you can't, um, go I'm to sorry. our... No, no, no. What was it? You're good. What was it? If you can't, <laughs> and if they're open, go to a library. They're not open in the city of Raleigh, but libraries are just generally good havens. <laughs> Wait, I've, got, I've got multiple oranges up in here. Dang. I love it. I love it. We love so shading. Yeah, it's gonna have a this very orange heavy firework, but it'll be it'll be cool. It'll be fun. Yeah, well, it's got it, all the it, colors. It's gonna be a very solar <laughs> firework. Well, is it? It's yeah. Gonna be a, it's gonna be a simulation of the, of the sun just blowing up. That's that's cheery. We've we've kind of hit the end of the world a couple times now. I didn't expect that in this stream. Yeah. <laughs> also, if you hear, uh, you hear the sound of water, just know that I am grabbing some. I'm grabbing some water. 
<laughs> what was it? Hydrate or dehydrate, I always say. <laughs> hydrate or dehydrate? I yep. love it. I love I, it. I got that off a sticker. I can't claim that, but I've been saying it for a long time. What was it? My, um, my, was it? I used to take course in high school because I was a, I was like a performance art nerd, performance mm. art nerd. Um, and my course teacher always told us if you, if you see or if you pee clear, then you're sing clear. And you, and you pee clear if you drink a lot of water. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drinking water. Yes. Well, is it? But, um, moving away from, moving away from that. What was it? So, is there anything special that you have to do for that, like, that last one where you, like, slot them both in together and, like, you have a double jacket situation? Or is um, it just, like, because, like, like, they're all compressing really nicely right now, as far as yeah, I can tell. Yeah, they are. Yeah, Beautiful. it's so nice. It's so, like, the, the part of me that's, like, ah, uh, <laughs> it's so aesthetically pleasing, um, is just, like, because you have to, like, accordion fold it out, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's what yeah, I Yeah, you have to, I like, meant. twist it, twist it in a circle. Mm-hmm. Which but is interesting. But I assume you can just, like, let it hang out Sorry. in, like, the compressed form until the very last one, right? Assumably. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can do that. Oh, boy. But okay. it's really, it's kind of interesting trying to hold it all in your hands mm -hmm. sometimes. Is, is it easier to just, like, let it go? There you go. Maybe. Maybe. It's been a while. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow. I'm Where? trying to figure out where to put the brown, because I feel like it's going to mess up. Like, like, it's I don't so very... in the middle. Because, like, all the other colors are just, like, very bright and, like, very, like, cheery. And then, like... And then stinky brown. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what was it? It's great. What was it? We gotta... What was it? If if brown ain't got no love, what was it from anyone else? We'll give it We'll give it some love. We'll give it some love. That sounds good. Yeah. Cool. All right, what I've... was it? The green... Looks best over here, I think. Yes. We've got we've got a little bit of that, yes. and that's that's a nice kind of. Yeah. And like, I wish we could just connect it that way, but we can't. <laughs> what was it? Abby said the brown is a part. Of, it's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. What was it? Yeah. Yeah. What was it? We're turning this into a PBS special, and I'm here for it. <laughs> Look, I used to love Mr. Rogers, and um, Ooh, yeah. I know this isn't PBS, but anything that was the Muppets, I'm here for it. Yes, I love Muppets. My husband oh my hates God. Muppets, so I'm <laughs> I'm Muppet deprived. Um, oh, he, I'm so sorry. He was he was scarred by the Dark Crystal as a child in the labyrinth. Ah, uh, that makes, so that makes a, good, a lot of sense. Yeah, good reason, but I still I I, I enjoy the Muppets, and I would like to enjoy them more, but. It's all right. Yeah. Okay. What was it? I am. Um, so I... Wow. Fancy, fancy. Fancy, fancy. All right. Let's try that. Was it? No. So now the time of reckoning has come for. The time. Yeah. This is the moment. I remember struggling it? with this a lot as a kid. Mm hmm. So, but I have. A... Ah, heck yeah. You have grown up from being a child. This is a sign you have. You. This is the sign that you are of full adulthood. I'm I'm a freaking adult. Yeah. All right, now we've got to connect this sucker, which is the actual hard part. It's very pretty now though. Um, mm -hmm. Oh man, I was too. I was so excited. I thought I had it, but I actually need to undo this for a second. <laughs> what what's Whoops. happening? What's happening? Here? I have to. I I need to go back to the compressed form so it'll be easy for me, and I need to do the actual connecting bits in the middle here. Ooh, um, okay. Tell me about what happened. Tell me, talk to me about what's happening there. So we've got these kind of folds from earlier, those little ones, mm -hmm. and we've got to basically fold multiple pieces of pieces of paper together at the same time. Right. Uh, you know, one over and under the other. I'm just picking oh. like a random juncture to try to do this. Okay, I see. Oh, this boy. is boy, I'm out of practice. <laughs> And do, do a little squish there. Oh, okay. So this is why you made the like the tiny folds that you didn't use when you were making the tessellations earlier, or the individual. Yeah, ones. it's how they it's how they connect. Wow, that's yeah. wild. 
That's awesome. Yeah. What was it? So, ah, okay, so this is just gonna take you some time. If it's I... gonna take a minute. This is, this is, yeah. Okay, well, we have time. We have time. What we have it? time. I will say it is now, um, 108. So, oh, if boy. we do want to take a quick, if we do want to take, like, a quick, a quick break, now is, now feels like a good time. I am good to go if you want to keep going, but... I, I'm gonna stop and take a sip, but I'm also mostly good to go, so I'm just gonna take me a, I'm gonna hydrate myself so I don't dehydrate, and, Sounds yeah. Good. Yep, yep, yep. Oof. Oof. What was it? For those of us at home who maybe aren't on camera, well, I mean, maybe, maybe we on it, if you're on camera, what was it? If you want to stretch, I recommend you do so. I forget to, I forget it and I was I follow this Twitter bot that tells me to like exist as a human being and take care of myself <laughs> for like ten minutes or so. What was it? And he, they just reminded me to uh do a stretch with it to stretch because we're probably sitting down a lot. Yeah, I do too much it? sitting I, these days. Oh that's well yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My roommate has been trying to get me into yoga. Which I like to think of as the origami of the body, but way harder <laughs> and way more unsuccessful. I've been trying a bit of yoga casually, and mm -hmm. yeah, I'm much better with the paper stuff personally. Yeah, yeah. What was it like? I haven't done a lot of origami recently. What was it? But I I would like to think so too, just based on the way that. Was it? like, cause I tried the camel pose the other day, and it was just like, ah, I was like, I have, I have reached nirvana, but also, my hips were firmly in not nirvana for the next two days. Did I say that again? What was it? I tried, I tried camel, like the camel pose, the other day. Yeah. Um, and there was a moment where I was like, I reached nirvana. But also, <laughs> was it for the next two days? My hips and my spine was like, you are decidedly not in Nirvana anymore. Um, come back to reality. You've been ejected from Nirvana. Yes, yeah. enlightenment has passed over you. Um, but oh, okay. It looks great so far. Personally, I just love how aesthetic it looks. It's so That's pretty. The best part. Yeah. yeah. So is a the stream is paused or was or it that? We, was it we can was All right. I mean, I'm yeah. good. I'm good to go. Just wanted to hey. check. Sounds good. I got my cup of water. I'm not going to dehydrate. Let's get good, this good, thing. Good. Over. Let's get let's, let's get yeah. on the road. Get it on like Donkey Kong. Mhm. Mm yeah. All right. Uh. Ooh, here's a good question. Come to mama. Did you ever okay. play that? I know I know there's that one um oh I forget if it was a Mario game or if it was a Kirby game, but there was that one Nintendo game about folding. Was no, it? I haven't it? played it. It sounds awesome, but no, I I don't think I have any origami uh, <laughs> memories in my childhood. I, I mean because, oh, video oh, game me. origami memories. Yes. <laughs> what was it? Because I remember it, it's Paper Mario. I forgot it. I forgot Paper oh! Mario. <laughs> Paper Mario? Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think of that. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I know there's like yarn for Kirby for whatever reason. What yeah. Like, now I know there has to be one for paper because I know I've seen one. I just can't remember what what it is. What was it? I had that moment a lot, especially whenever, we, especially Monday nights during Jeopardy night. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. What was it? I think actually, ah, uh, second point where I remember Robert Lang from. I think he was a question for Jeopardy at one point. I mean, he should be. The man's a myth it? and a legend. Yeah. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Yes. What was it? Robert Lang, if you're out there, I'm a big fan. <laughs> if oh. you somehow start watching this this thing. Yes. Hey, Robert Lang, if you're out there, um, if you want to give. Hey, if you want to hire me and Liana, I'll I'll code. <laughs> Liana can help you out with the paper stuff. What was it? And the origami part? Or, Sorry, origami but... intern. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was it? What was it? Just 
think about it. Pay, you can pay us like minor bucks. What was it? I'd be happy with that. What was it? I think yeah. you should. I, I think you should pay us as, as many big bucks as you can. But I'm happy with minor bucks. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I will not discriminate based on the bucks. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What was it? We take all. All bucks are accepted here. All bucks are accepted. Yes. And even deer, haha. Ha. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love it. I love it. What was it? Robert Leg, we also do jokes. We can be a comedy duo for you. What was it? I'm I'm picking up my my husband's really good at the dad jokes with the puns and I'm picking up on a couple of them and I'm ah. part of me is so ashamed, but <laughs> uh, you know. Mm -hmm. Here I am. This is my life now. Yeah, I make dad was jokes. It? <laughs> I mean like um, I was firmly not a dad joke person whenever I started working in the makerspace, and then yeah. there was this one coworker who was very much just, she drew, like, these very beautiful sketches on our whiteboard, um, mm -hmm. that stayed up for the month, um, Sarah, if you're out there, I love you, what was it, but she also had, like, an accompanying dad joke, and there was one point in time where I was just, like, I'm either on, I'm either on the, I'm either on the dad joke train or I'm off it. What was it? And the time has come for me. Yeah. Yes or you know? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> no, I love it. I love like, a Katy Perry reference. Um, yeah, yeah. But, but like, I have been off this train for too long. I've got to just come in and just dive head deep in. Yeah, you just gotta, dad joke train is the best joke train. Yes. 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 Chugga chugga woo woo. What was it? Woo woo. <laughs> what was it? Okay, so we're coming along to the ending, or we're coming along to the last couple folds of our wonderful, wonderful fireworks. How are you feeling? Uh, it's good. This is definitely taking longer than I thought it would, but that's just the rule of the universe, you know? <laughs> It's yeah. been so long since I've made one of these, I forgot that it was a full hour endeavor, <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, I mean, we got two hours. We got two hours, so we're okay. We got we're... time. We got yeah. time. We got I just, time. I don't know how far I'll get onto the fancy things. <laughs> good, <laughs> but, uh, good. good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a good time regardless. Yeah. Party yeah. till two. Well, yeah. and at the very least, we'll understand the basics and how they work for the fancy stuff. Yeah, yeah, well, like, yeah. We could, if we get real low on time, we could just, I could just show you some of the diagrams and how crazy they are, and we could all just be like, dang, for a minute, you know? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. What was it? I will say, this does, like, what was it? So, earlier in this, like, at the very beginning of this room, we talked about, for the, for the audience, we did talk about, like, having, uh, a, like, a simple, a simpler design that Liana know. Liana just like can crank out and then like a fancy fancy or like a fancy <laughs> fancy song from Robert Lang's book but yeah. I'll be totally honest with you this definitely seems like a fancy pants design well and I'm here for it I love it I was ambitious I mean I I picked these because they're my favorite ones to show off ah yeah uh, okay so, so that was not that was not based on like time T like length of time required or complexity. I did not think about the time as much. I was just like, eh, I'd probably do that in half an hour, I bet. I could do that. But I believe it. I, was, I believe it. I believe yeah, it. Yeah, overly optimistic there. <laughs> what was it? I mean, like, this seems, I mean, even if we only get this done, you got, like, a firework ton. I got, I got a dope firework that I can yeah. continue to show off to people because this one's getting old. Yeah. And this one's it? got rainbow. Yeah. I will say I do very much appreciate the, um, like, I don't know what to call it, like, the texturing on the paper, or, like, the, like, the, like, the old firework has going on there, with, like, the checkers oh, and yeah. the scratch and stuff. I love it. I'm here for it. Yeah, it was the good. Pattern. This, this was, was the scrapbooking thinking. paper, I think. Yeah. I don't remember. Old also, paper. Also, people out there, what was it, who want to follow along? You don't have to have fan like I like this is one of the things I talked to Liana about the first the first time we met. Um we you really don't need fancy paper to do or origami, right? Yeah, nah. Printed nah. paper is how I got started. Yeah. yeah. Oh this uh, <laughs> this part is ugly and it makes me sad. 
It's fine. We're gonna hide that. Hey, what was it? We got we we just gotta focus on the pretty part. First first step we gotta. First up, we gotta make it. Second step is make it pretty. We can, we gotta, yeah, we, yeah. We we don't we gotta worry about the first step first. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Yep. This is definitely the like full on manhandle phase. This is yeah. this is full on. You know. Oh, what was it earlier? Bowing it to my supreme will, making it yes. about my supreme will. Yes. 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 Full on, just attempting to do that. Yes. Oh it? boy, it's fighting back. <laughs> what was it? Apparently Abby says that she is also all aboard the dad joke train. I love it. What was it? We're giving out tickets left and right. There is... Heck yeah. There, we, you, you know, all tickets are free. Actually, that's not true. The price is, you gotta give, what was it? You just gotta let the cringe enter your soul. Yeah, you just gotta it. let the cringe wash over you. Bathe in the cringe. Yes. Accept the cringe. The cringe is your life now. Yes. All right, it. maybe that's a bit extreme. It's starting to sound a little culty. <laughs> but, um... What was it? It's not wrong. It's not wrong, though. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we'll do, like, a more casual, just kind of dip your toes in the cringe. Just kind of do yeah. a nice little swim. Casual. Yeah. Do a lap Go. around the pool. Do a lap around the pool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't have to be Michael Phelps yet. What is it? Yeah. Michael Phelps comes later. Michael Phelps comes with time. Okay, but who is the Michael Phelps of cringe? Ah, this is a good question. For Probably the... highly debated. Yes, this is highly debated. For people in the maker space, um, I would have to say it's probably got to be Malika, our graduate extension a graduate extension student or graduate student extension fudge i forget i always forget how her, how her title works what was it but it's definitely gotta be malika um who i don't think you met but i think you would just like jive with uh if you oh, met okay her. okay yes sounds well, good to me i mean yeah. is she just cool with rolling with it like yeah yeah no yeah. like she was she supplied our dad jokes on the whiteboard every month ah so she's very much like just ready. She is she is down to clown. <laughs> With the dad jokes. Yes. Good, good, good. Yeah. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Good things. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. This is the hardest part of this whole design, is just <laughs> getting it to work together, darn it. Right. Teamwork. It's hard is to it... instill in paper. <laughs> what was it? Even harder for people, but paper is still pretty hard. Paper, yeah, paper doesn't like it, apparently. Nah. And when you have multiple layers, they don't want to line up perfectly for some reason. Nah. Ugh. What was it? Ugh. What was it? I will, so I am curious, does, like, is it important for whenever you do those folds um, on the inside, right, for the creases, is it important yeah. that they're, like, the same height or, like, they whenever you, like, compress them, that there's not, like, too much difference in, like, wherever they land up, or wherever they Yeah, you, you want to try to get it nice, because if you have, like, a lopsided, let me see if I can find a lopsided one on this one. I mean, this one, kind of a little lopsided, I don't know if you can see it, but, like, if you <laughs> get them, if they fold to different distances, it's just gonna look kind of weird uh, on gotcha. the end. Uh, well, it's still, so, like, fold inwards, and, like, fold, like, continuously fold. Oh, it should still work. It'll just not be as pretty. Gotcha. Uh, okay, that makes yeah. sense. Which is which but, is like a good eighty percent of why people fold. Yeah, so, yeah, so, like just getting it to work. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What was it? I will okay. say it is impressive. It is, have we have we reached the have we reached the point of reckoning? I believe we have reached the point of reckoning. So now we've got this great connected wow. accordion. Ain't it I love pretty? It. Yeah, now we gotta now we gotta make it circular. Now we've got to okay, let me let me see. How did we Yeah, I think the white goes around the the brown. I, I, I like that we ended up on the two like outcast colors. <laughs> me too. Yeah. What was it? <sighs> This is, I'm assuming this is the part where you're just like, you gotta make it work. 
Just gotta, just gotta make it work. Yeah, just gotta manhandle the sucker. Just gotta. It comes get it to together do so things. nicely now. Ugh. What is it like? Like the aerial view of this is so nice. Yeah, over here. This yeah. is the hot mess area that that is. <laughs> no. What was it? Just uh, was it? If I was to ignore my therapist, what was it? I was I. I would say just ignore, just ignore the ugly parts. Worry about the pretty parts, and then just worry about the ugly parts later. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What this is the so earlier when I was like earlier when I was like when I was a kid, this part was so hard. I was talking about this part. Ah. <laughs> so this is the I hard part. I totally see why. This. Yes. Yeah, I is totally the, see why. Yeah. Huh. Okay. All right. We're gonna. We're just gonna. Just gonna. We're gonna make Try it work. some things. We're gonna make it work, and it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Yes, yes, okay. it is. All right, all right. We we got some things starting to maybe cooperate. No, it's not. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's rebelling. <laughs> what was that fire? What was it suppress suppress the rebellion? <laughs> yeah. I've got it. All right. All right. Just gonna yeah. some, some pinches here, some pinches there. I wish I could explain it better what I was doing, but <clears throat> it's kind of, you just gotta have to experience it, you know? It's like learning how to yeah. swim. Mm -hmm. well, is it, Don't this crinkle is on me. This is just sink or swim. What was it? Abby says she likes how the white parts are getting covered, so it's all color. Yeah, I mean, there's still there's still gonna be some white. Mm -hmm. White will be there, but hopefully it'll be you know surrounded. You know, it'll be surrounded by all the colors, so you can you can ignore it if you want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. We've got the inside parts, which are pretty hard. Okay, now. And I was gonna say the outside parts are easier but i don't want to jinx it yeah what was it don't don't make promises well or don't make promises about the future you don't know what the future holds yeah yeah the paper oh what was it don't do me a crinkle just make it work what was it that's that's the important part we can work about yeah what was it? the pretty part comes later <laughs> yeah the pretty part comes in a minute i'm what getting was... close though yeah what was it the pretty part comes whenever we get the libraries to give us funding for an airbrusher. <laughs> what was it? Better, right, better okay. get some spray paint. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. So there is a trade-off when you do origami. Okay. And it's okay. the type of paper you pick. I think uh -huh. I've got, I'm going to finagle with it for a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's, there's some trade-offs there. You can do stiffer paper or you can do thinner paper you can do yeah. tin paper like there's all kinds of paper you don't need a special paper to get started but like the thicknesses and everything really does make a difference because the mm -hmm. thicker stuff this one's more prone to ripping than actually crinkling this one just crinkled on me uh right okay the moment of truth this is it everybody i'm gonna test it out in a second wow that's yes. that part is ugly one second. I'm gonna try to fix something real quick. <laughs> this is a, you know, we're putting it up part. All right, everybody wait. ready for the test drive? Here wait, we go. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. What was it? What are you doing? Now announcing the climax of the stream. Oh yeah, yeah. Drum, drum roll. Here we go. Whoa. And the crowd goes wild. Gotta, yeah, you just gotta wear it in a little bit. <laughs> Glad the, we found the printer paper. Yeah, it looks but, uh, it looks really great though. Like even thanks. yes. Like, oh, oh. Especially it's that like snagging. Yes. Well, especially like just like the flower view. It's so pretty. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now it's really pretty. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna ignore that bit. I'm gonna try to like squish it so the other stuff. Yeah, th this is this is nice. I, I'm glad we uh yeah got through this one. Me too. Me too. What was it? We got. Oh, it's so pretty. I feel like. 
I, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I, I gotta like I got I, I gotta like tell you. I gotta ask you a real question. How do you like just not play with the the like the moving origami pieces during Zoom like during Zoom classes? Just all, all the time. Yeah. Uh, I it's because I, I keep all of my origami tucked away in my special origami oh, corner. Oh yeah, that's right. The giant box. Yes, my giant box. If I if I had my um um it on my desk. I would definitely play with it a lot more. <laughs> um, so I do have some ideas. So it looks like we've got like about a half an hour left. Yes. So I don't know how deep I'd be able to get into the fancy ones. Yeah. Uh, but I, I I have an idea if if y'all want to do this. I could bring out some of my other stuff and just do a little bit of show and tell. Yeah. Uh, for stuff I've designed and talk about it. Yeah. Because um, like I, I could start on the fancy thing. I just don't think it would look anything more like a grid by the yeah. time we got to two. No, yeah. I told like I mean that totally like that sounds great. Like Wait I a love, minute. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, never mind. I'm fixing this instead. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess we just know why the white one had a moment. <laughs> oh goodness. Golly geez. <laughs> oh no. Is this really a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Yep, it's eleven of them. And uh, I just didn't notice. Uh, okay. Okay. Hey, this is fine. Look, you know the magic right. of my favorite part about Twitch is the fact that whenever you have any kind of mistake, whoever is editing your video can just Cut it out. <laughs> I don't know. This is a pretty major one. I don't know. You'd have to edit a lot. <laughs> All right. Should I, should I try to sneak it in to the right color spot, or should I just stick it on the end at this point? What was it? Mm, this is this is a real question. What was it? I this mean, we a do real have, question. We, we do have 30 minutes. So We do have 30. All right. Yeah. We're going to do it right, or we're not going to do it at all? Yes. We're going to make it yes. work. Gotta make it work. Yes. And we've already got the creases in there, so this shouldn't be too bad. Yes. It'll take a little five minutes. And then we'll probably definitely need to just do the show and tell. because uh, <laughs> probably won't have any other time for any yeah. other folding. What was it? Um, unless you unless you want to do like a very quick crane or something, what was it? But honestly, I'm very curious about your box. And my 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 magical box of things. Yes. Uh yeah, yeah, I and I, I always like showing them off. And we, there's some good stuff to talk about there. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, this, yeah. this is like this is like presenting your it's like presenting a portfolio for Robert Lang. Yes. It? Oh, oh, Robert. I hope you like it, Robert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? You just walk like you just you like you're interviewing with Robert and you just like you don't like you just walk in. You don't even, like, talk, you don't, I mean, like, of course you talk to the dude, because it's, like, Robert Lang, but, like... Because it's Robert first... Lang, of course. Right, yes. but, like, the first thing that you do, was it before you talk to Robert Lang, is you, like, you just drop everything that you've ever origami <laughs> What was it? Be like, oh, my bad. I guess we should <laughs> pick it up and look at all of it one by one. Yeah. Sorry, I was just uh, holding this for a friend. What was it? Um, or I was I was making these for a friend, and I didn't have time to drop them off before I came here. I hope it's okay. <laughs> I hope it's okay that you you know hold each of these in your hands and <laughs> enjoy my creation. And marvel. Yeah, marvel. And at marvel. Them, you know, be impressed. <laughs> I don't know what if you would. You would. I mean, maybe I I would love to see Robert Lang like hold my peridot and just be like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be a most, uh, the, the most beautiful moment I can imagine <laughs> me too well is it honestly well is it if they're if, if people who are who manage the NCSU PR are watching this just make this your top priority just tweet at Robert Lang until he until he see until he sees us making this well is it so that Liana can just be like this is my hair dot, and Robert can yeah. just be like, noise. <laughs> that would, uh, 
I just need a recording of him saying nice, and I think that would probably do it for me. I'd I'd be happy with that. Yeah. Uh, well, is yeah. it like? I could just I, pretend it's about the things that I made. Well, was it my? Was it? I remember in was it in middle school, my eighth grade social studies teacher had like a like uh one of those staples buttons where like you press it and it's like that was easy, and she always let us press it whenever we got like a good grade on an assignment or something. Yeah. Was, yeah. I feel like that would, but I feel like for you, instead of the, that was easy, easy catchphrase, you just have Robert, Robert Lang going, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, that would be amazing. Oh. Well, I would feel it? so motivated. I just have that at my desk. I'd be like, I need to finish this assignment so I can hear Robert say I did yeah. good. What was it? You done good, kid. You done good, kid. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, what was it? I will say, like, the blue is fitting in there pretty nicely. Like, yeah. I expected like, more, like, crinkles, because we did not plan for this to happen. But, like, it's turned out pretty good. Yeah, I think, I think hopefully at the end you will not notice that the whole model is missing, you know, their blue brother for a solid hour. Uh, that's the goal it. anyways don't worry about it we're fine we're fine. It's fine and it's just more colors to uh to kind of mask the the brown and the white right right you know yeah 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 what was it and it adds a little bit more length i'm assuming or it creates like it basically just makes it like a f like a, f a 12th bigger up yeah yeah it, it the proper length. Yes. It, yeah. The circumference. That's it. That's what I was thinking of. I was like, there's ah, a math term for that. There's a math, math term word. for that. Math word. Why everybody? Trig is, Trig is coming back to haunt me today. Like, the ghost of Ham the ghost of Macbeth, or the ghost of Hamlet's father, and it has possessed me for a hot minute. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What was I it? did a whoopsie. Yes. Oh, I will say, Abby says, you've done so good. And also that it's more of a chance to see how the heck you're doing this. It's so fun to watch. Well, so oh, okay, that's I totally good. Yeah. I am grateful that this is a pleasing um, visual experience. Yeah, uh, no totally. Oh, I did some of it backwards. <laughs> mm. It's okay. It's oh, okay. boy. We got time. Okay. We got, like... We at least have like five minutes on that, so I think like we 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 got so much time. We're fine. We got we time because I've got like jackets going this way. Yeah, right. That's what I should be doing. But except this one. The jackets. This one, I the jackets. You know what? I'm just gonna try to hide the brown entirely. That's what I'm gonna do with it. Okay. Uh, okay. Bye bye brown. <laughs> we never needed you anyway. Going in the white. We never needed you. Blue is twice the man you are. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is getting really personal. I'm sorry, the color brown. I didn't. I. I. Uh, I shouldn't be this mean to you. <laughs> well, the, this is the time of the Oprah. Or this is the time of the. No, this is the time of the Dr. Phil show, where the person who was hurt comes on and is like, what "Was it?" And they, they have like that whole apology scene. What was it? <laughs> and like the whole making amends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, there's gonna be hints of brown. He's still in it. Yeah. It, you know, it? he's here. Maybe he's not as visible, but you know, he's still here in our hearts. He's still here. Question: Does it? You still know, there might actually be more brown. I don't know. <laughs> does, oh, it, boy. does it fold right though? If we do this. Okay. Yeah, it should fold right. It's just an aesthetic thing, trying to get it perfectly symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Now we have on this side no brown, and on this side extra brown. So that's how that works, apparently. We're good. Um, but this, I guess... this should be it. This is it. Hey, uh. Ah. That's wow. Hey, uh. That's awesome. What was it? Wait, hold on. Woo! Woo! We did it. We did it. What was it? We did it. First time. We totally did it on our first try. Woo! Yeah, this is the first try. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? I will say, I totally think that if you wanted to, you could, if you wanted to make this so much harder and so much longer, 
you could totally do the <laughs> we're doing the brown to have that color differentiation. Was it if you ha- if you just had like an extra like twelve more colors? Oh my goodness! Oh my or goodness! The, I think you could though, right? Because it adds some, like because it doesn't completely hide the colors. Yeah, it, it it is interesting. I could do that. Well, is it, but also, but I think like, at this oh, point, I'm oh I'm God, ready to call the fireworks. <laughs> no, me too. I'm. What was it? I'm. We we love it, but we also. Was it? A, was it? Um, a a good actor always knows the right time to walk away. This is the time to walk away. <laughs> yeah, this is the time to walk away from the fireworks. We've done the fireworks. You got to see the whole creation of it, and he, there yeah. it is. Um, yeah. And I think right now I'm actually I'm gonna go grab all my goodies and we're gonna do yeah. some fun little show and tell to, to finish it up. So Alrighty. be right back. Alrighty. What was it? So for the people out there, what was it? Seriously, if you're watching, and if if you if you're in a hiring position, pay Liana big bucks. Pay her all the bucks. Pay her as many bucks as you can handle. Pay her even, what was it, just take the little bucks, make it, what was it, squish them together, add them, what was it, you can pay Liana probably like at least a good chunk of bucks. With You're, the, you're talking about my, our, our paychecks potentially? Yes, yes, yes. What right, was I'm going to start off with my big thing. Yes. Do you want to see my big thing? Yeah, um, let's do the big thing. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Whoa, you can't even what? see all of it. <laughs> so um, wait, was, was this the one that was on the wall the other day when you showed this, us? This one, yeah, this is the big one I showed uh, you guys in a previous meeting. It won't even fit on the screen. But basically, if you Google like Chinese wheel origami, you'll see what the model actually looks like. Oh my god, I love this! And I just made a bunch of them uh, from big <laughs> to small and put them inside of each other. That's uh, so that's, great. That's what this one is. Um, oh, the biggest wait. pieces hold are on. two feet by two feet. Okay, wait, hold on. So this is not like, I was imagining like a pyramid thing happening, like a ziggurat thing happening. That is not what's happening here. It's a box. It's it's kind of a box. I'm just gonna, you know, here's some hints. I'm so sorry that we don't have more <laughs> that, look, flybys. Look, we're what was it? We're making do with the logistics that we got and the. And yeah. Then, hey, was it, it's like peeling back just a little bit of the curtain to like give you that suspense. Yeah, it's it's a little mysterious. I like that. Yeah. All right. Well, so it's, it's also so giant, and I love it. It's so huge. Yeah. My so my subset, my niche, my favorite kind of origami to do is big origami because lots of people do tiny origami, but not enough people yeah. do huge origami. Uh, is this, this is an elephant. elephant. Oh, yeah. This is just a little it. elephant. And I he stands it. up. And, That's yeah. great. That's so great. Uh, my husband made this beautiful koi fish. Whoa! That's yeah. so awesome. I love his, I, I especially love his choice of paper. Was it the paper? Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I got uh, some unicorn paper for Christmas. Um, mm. And that came from that special pad. Oh, uh, he just brought over one of our projects. Uh, we're making, we're trying to go for the world record of itty bitty velociraptors oh, wait, I'm gonna wait, open this I... jar real quick um oh man it's sealed all right so that's about how big they are <laughs> we've got this jar we've got it's a couple so jars of it wait question this... hold on i don't i know you have more but if we have time can you show us how to make an itty bitty velociraptor oh totally yes. totally i could do that real quick yes. so yeah, uh, Whoa. they're really quick and easy, or we can even send out the instructions. Yes. Um, Let's this see. is 300. What? 300 baby <laughs> velociraptors. That's right so here. great. That's so great. Wait, right, wait um, is there a world record? Wait, so do you know the world record? No, I don't think ever, anyone's actually made a world record, which is why we're trying to do it. <laughs> hey, hold on. What was it? Guinness, Guinness World Record people, if you're watching this, what was it? Give Liana just like a full on world record. That'd be a first for our, our, one of our Twitch streams. Oh, yeah, Ooh. world record. That'd be great. 
This is paper that it's one solid piece of paper, but it's supposed yeah. to look like I knitted it together. Yeah, um, my was it my roommate's a baker. He he does a lot of pies. He was telling me that's a, that's a lattice, and he's in love with those. Here's a sea turtle. Uh, Aww, yeah. that's adorable. I love it. Uh, all right, let's see. I'm gonna try to skip to just the cool stuff. All right, here's a random one I designed accidentally, and it's a moon with a face. I love it. It's great. Uh, one we note. did with the club. Got a tiny little pumpkin. <gasps> I love it. It's adorable. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Some more random flair. I wow. just got spicy with some swirls and things, and Fancy. it's kind of a textural thing. Was it? It's like abstract art. Just, you just gotta appreciate it. Yeah, abstract art. Slinky dog. <gasps> I love it. It's so great. Yeah. Fun stuff. Uh, oh, okay. A little action butterfly. What? That's so wild. That's so awesome. <laughs> That's so All great. Right, uh, thanks. All right, I'm just going to pour out my bag. Let's see what comes out. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Here we go. We're going to start through this. All right, I... I actually designed this. This is a lamb's head. Ah, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I, I'm just going to go to the coolest stuff. Yeah. Try to go through here. I made a bow tie once. I it's love kind it. Of a janky bow tie. It's so great. Got a wolf. Yes. What was it? Part with wings, but like, uh, it's kind of a janky one. I love it. It's great. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Here's a bigger velociraptor. I love it. So what they normally look like. Is that a... Okay, this... Sorry, go ahead. Was Is that a super tiny red one off to the left a little bit? This one? Yeah. yeah. This is an itty-bitty butterfly. <gasps> Aww, that's adorable. <laughs> Thanks. And it's like three folds. I could definitely teach that one by the end. <laughs> this is an easy model. This is a cup. This is the first model I ever made. Not the exact one, but Whoa. this is the first model. That's... I ever learned of origami. That's so wild. Thanks. Because I, I, you know... I, I need to find Peridot. Yes. <gasps> There's Peridot. There's Peridot. Yeah. All right, Robert Lang, this is for you. I hope you like it. Robert Lang, just say nice about Peridot. That's all we need from you. If you just type that in. Yeah. Um, a cat. I don't know. Aww. This is kind of random stuff in here. Let's well, see what we got. Some skulls. Wow. What was it? Dig through. This is a weird elf man. I love it. It gives me like very uh I don't know why, like beetle vibes. Beetle vibes? I could see it. Yeah. Alright, this is a design I made myself. Oh, I I don't know if you can see with the black, but it's supposed to be a peace sign. <gasps> That, oh, I see it now. That's so rad. I love it. That's so great. Thanks. Uh, skeletal hand. We did this in the club. Whoa. That looks, that looks like a lot of tiny folds. It is, it is very chunky. I'll tell you that. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? This is a mini, um, of the oh, magic ball. Magic box. I love magic box so much. All right. Uh, what do we oh got? My, oh my god. <laughs> what was it? Is your house just gonna totally get flooded with origami models? And <laughs> it's just gonna be an I endless. love the look of this. Me too. It's, it's so many colors. I love it. It's so great. I'm gonna have fun cleaning this up afterwards, tell you what. What was it? You just gotta, you just gotta, you gotta smush it all into the, you just throw it all into the Chinese box. What was it? Yeah. And let's call it a day. All right, I was very proud of this one. It is a banana I designed. Wow, fancy. <laughs> this one was like very specific work. I was really trying to make a banana happen. Mm -hmm. So for and a lot of course, of the ones... this cute star. Oh my god, the star looks so cute. What was it? Wait, question. So for like a lot of these where you're just like, where you were, were a lot of the ones where you made the design yourself, were they just like, it just sort of happened? Or was it more like you intentionally set out to make that? Cause I... Kind of a kind of a mix. Okay. Uh, it's I would just play with the paper and kind of, I would call it doodling. Just kind of do whatever. Yeah. 
And then I would get to a point where I would say like, hey, that looks a little bit like a dog. And then I would try as hard as I could to make it a dog. And, mm -hmm. and that's how I do things. So this is that oh. butterfly. I'm going to teach you all oh. real quick because it's three folds. You take a square, fold it yeah. in half horizontally, and uh -huh. you, you fold along this line on one direction, opposite right. line on the other side. Uh -huh. Boom, you got a butterfly. I love it. It's great. Yeah. Simplicity. Yeah. Uh, I think we have enough time to do a velociraptor if y'all are interested. Yes, let's do a velociraptor. Clear some space here. I like the look of this. I could make this like a, a YouTube wallpaper Me or too. something. Me yeah. too. I love it a lot. Love it. I feel like this would be like a really great like profile picture, like wallpaper background. Yeah, it could be background. Yeah. Oh no, that's a janky piece. We don't want that. <laughs> Let me get something. Let me get something real nice. Nice something Ooh. something crisp. Yeah. Have uh, that how about orange? Orange sound good? Yeah. All right. I'm going to teach you all real quick. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So first things first, we need to make the bird base, which is most popular because it's the base for the crane. And I just happen to have one there. That's good. Good luck there. So um, mm -hmm. first things first, we're going to do the folds we did for the water bomb base. Right. Hit me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, the, the base... For, for that is you need two diagonal folds going one direction. Um, and as soon as I got those, I'll do the next folds. Uh, crisp, crisp folds. Okay. So you got two direction ones. Uh, so the jargon in origami is you've got mountain folds. Mm -hmm. And then you got valley folds. Ah, so, it's like hot dog versus hamburger. Yeah, it's like hot dog versus hamburger. So you've got two mountains on the diagonal. So then you do two valleys on the um, on the horizontal side. Oh, fancy. Okay. And that opposition is how you get the nice, crisp, folded bases with extra flaps and things. So like this whole like like uh, like square divided into eight triangles. Yeah. Is this like a foundation for a lot of origami models? Oh. oh. A lot, a lot, especially the traditional. You would you would start here basically. So this is the water bomb base we've been making all day. So mm -hmm. to make the bird base, it's kind of a series of bases. So you pop that sucker, put all the hey, corners yeah. together. Now we have the preliminary oh, base. Cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. All okay. right. Now a few more steps, and we'll get to the bird base. Okay. Uh, so we do. This is called a kite fold. You ah. can probably guess why. <laughs> Well, is it because we're gonna we're about to run a string through it and we're about to get flying? Exactly. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we got a kite fold. I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm doing just a quick and sloppy version. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? Yeah. Is it, does a kite fold usually involve like folding the head over? Or is yeah. It usually... This is. Oh, okay, so the kite fold is just this. Right. But this okay. is actually the preparation for a pedal fold. Gotcha. Uh, Okay. So for the pedal fold, we've got this nice triangle here. We're going to use that back one as a hinge. Uh, pick oh. up the top layer of the paper. Swing oh. it back. Squish it. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like a big old pedal. Oh, yeah. I remember. I think I remember doing this for one of the cranes way back yeah, when. Yeah, yeah. Way back this when. Is, this is basically how most of the way to a crane when I'm doing that, except you just take a sharp left turn. And make a velociraptor instead. Uh, yeah. Question was, was it because I know there's that one book about the thousand cranes. Was it, was it? And I, and I know that like in Japanese culture, like, just crane origami, origami cranes are just like a thing. Yes, big well, old thing. It, yes. Have you made the thousand cranes? Probably, probably. No. I so I tried to to make. I did have a concerted effort to make okay. a thousand cranes. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing was, like, I, I was doing it, uh, it's kind of cheesy, but I, I was having a, I was in a rough patch, and I was like, you know, I can do a thousand cranes and have a wish at the end, because that's the whole legend. And I was like, you know, yeah. I just want to make more friends and stuff. And I, you know, I want to make more friends. So I folded yeah. the thousand cranes, but instead of keeping them to count, I would give them away to people. <laughs> and incidentally, I made a lot of friends before I ever got to a thousand. I, I got to somewhere in the like three hundreds, 
Uh, hey. But at a certain point, I just called it because I couldn't keep track anymore. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, so yeah. your, wish, your wish came true early, so... Yeah, yeah. I was like, I, I feel no need to get to a thousand at this point. I'm fine. <laughs> Whoa. So this is the beautiful bird base. You got two ah, wings and two legs to work with here. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, but you're gonna fold down one of the wings, and you're gonna fold this sucker in half with the triangle in the middle. Mm -hmm. Um. So now we've got a head and two legs and a tail to work with, basically. Okay. So we're gonna do an outside reverse fold. Okay. Um, you're gonna have to walk. <laughs> which sounds very complicated. Okay. But you do a fold here to the middle, mm -hmm. and you do a fold here to the middle. Mm -hmm. And basically, what you're trying to do is just flip this up. So you've got the, the creases now. Oh, I see, which is why you don't want to fold all the way through, but you just want to flip yes. that little middle part. Uh, OK. I'm yeah, here with so you. So we've got a long, beautiful Velociraptor neck. We love um, it. Yes. And so I'm going to do another outside reverse fold, do a little crease here, and then flip it. You do a lot of that in origami. A lot mm -hmm. of those. I'm like, and sorry, go ahead. Well, is it like there's just a lot of like you fold it and then like you unfold it and then like you do an inverse fold. Oh yeah, <laughs> that reminds me. I, I yeah, it's a lot of pre-creasing. I actually that was I, I I was salutatorian in high school. I made my entire graduation speech about origami. I love it. It was That's fantastic. Great, right. we're here for I, it. So now we're going to fold down these legs. And I think the official design is to go down outside like that. But I yeah. think it's more stable if you do it mm -hmm. backwards. Right. I'm going to do that on both sides. And now we have made our origami velociraptor. What was it? Except yeah. I think there's a little bit. I think there's probably a couple more steps to come. Man will handle that into some hands. And then you do like hey. a weird backward fold. What? And then a forward That's fold. So wild. So I love it. That's so and great. And of course, yeah, if anyone wants any better instructions on it, there's lots of tutorials. And here we have a Velociraptor. Oh my god, it's so great. It is so <laughs> great. What is it? And he what should is... stand up. Little... Yep, there he is. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> what was it? Do you have a... make, right? Yes. What was it? Do you have a name for them? Oh, um, the only one I've named is the one that's on my wall um, mm -hmm. i would show him to you but i it, unfortunately can't because he's on my wall yes um, was it, i've seen was it viewers i've seen it was it just take my word it's giant and it's great it I, i'll tell you so it's shaped exactly like this but mm -hmm. except it's ex as long as my husband is tall uh and he's about <laughs> yeah it's as long as i'm tall and i'm five six he's a little taller uh so, so it's about six feet uh in, in on this dimension that's so great and his name is rocket uh so that one is named the rest of them we haven't bothered naming because right that would be a lot <laughs> well the twitch chat if y'all want to throw names for the one that we made today yes yeah he, he's unique yes yes what was i'm it? just gonna Ooh. keep throwing in random doodads in the meantime yes well i will say we do have uh five minutes on the clock so if you want to do any plugging slash um, PR, now would be a good time. Love oh, it. yeah. Uh, well, yeah, if, if anybody's yeah. watching who missed the beginning, I, am, uh, run, it, I run the Origami Club. I, I founded it five years ago, uh, and it's, kind of, it's my baby. Uh, and if you would hey, like uh, to come and learn some, some fun models, I mean, we folded this in the club. We've definitely folded Velociraptors in the club. We folded this duck. Uh, if you want to come fold oh. things, uh, we have meetings uh, Monday, 6 to 7 p.m. You know, just email me or hit us up on Get Involved. However you want to do it, we'll get you on the email list some way, somehow. So, uh, yeah, yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. And, um, uh, yeah, I hope everybody yeah. has a good day. <laughs> yeah, stay safe out there. What was it? Yes. I mean, we got some. We got. We had a couple. We have like the last couple minutes. So like, this will be like a credit scene. Well, it'll be like one of those um, extended credits, credit scenes where like in the Avengers they have like. It's a tiny duck. It's after credits. Yeah. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's so great. This is why people do tiny origami because it's so it, cute. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. What was it? I will say, like, I'm, okay, I'm, okay, so I'm generally curious. Have you reached out to the Guinness people about um, getting that world record in the book? No, we have not. Uh, for a certain, we, we figured, there, there's not a record for origami velociraptors, but there's a record for, like, cranes and stars ah, and that kind of stuff. So we wanted to, and they've got big numbers. So we wanted ah. to get, like, a really big number first before we cool. try to claim it. Because then we, we don't want to claim it and have someone else beat us in two weeks and have to do it all over right. again, you know? Uh, right. Was it? Because, uh, like, yes. I'm looking at it right we, now. Because, like, there's a lot of origami world records, and it looks like the largest, what was it, if I look at... Oh, geez. This is a perfect shrub I made, but I couldn't figure out how to do it again, so that's why I don't have one in green. <laughs> it's great. We love it. We're here for it. <laughs> Whoa. The largest origami crane. The, the largest one is 78.19 meters. That's so huge. Yeah, it's insane. That's so wild. Well, when I was a, a kid, I changed my, you know, back when everybody just had, like, one desktop in the house, I changed mm -hmm. our background to be, like, the largest origami crane on the internet, on the family computer. What was it? We, um, oh, that's so wild. There was some, there was some person in Japan who, was it, made a hundred origami cranes in 35 minutes, or in, or in 40 minutes and 35 seconds yeah, for an average of 24.35 seconds per crane. Which That's insane. Super to me. Like, it'll yeah. take me a solid 30 to make one. Yeah, I, I, I think of myself as, like, a fast folder, but I'm really not. Like, it, which is, I, I'm, I've done it for so long, you'd think I'd be faster at it. But we had, like, a Origami Olympics one year for Origami Club, and mm -hmm. I got smoked. I got smoked <laughs> trying to fold a crane. And I think it's because I try to do it as, like, perfect as possible. Like, you know, I've got these standards. Like, yeah, I yeah. wonder what those those world record speed um, yeah. things look like. I really well, do. Yeah. Thor hat. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I know that we're at 2 o'clock, so our time is out. But I just wanted yeah. to end this note on the world record, the Guinness World Record for the largest display of origami crane. What was it? Made out of paper. It's 1,956,912. Ooh, that's a lot. That's so many. Oh, and uh, Twitchy is his name. <gasps> I love it. I love yes. it. Well, I think Abby was it our moderator. Was it dubbed dubbed Twitchy? Uh, yes, with her name. that is a good was name. It? Yes. Also, I'm just gonna was play it, with my file. <laughs> yes. Was it final thing is what we end. Um, thank you so much for watching. Was it? I know we've done a good. We've, we've already done a good chunk of the credits, but I wanted to make sure that we got everybody. Um, uh, thank you so much to our moderator, Abby, for, what was it, doing such a great job as our moderator today. Um, we love you. What was it, she was also part of the team that helped make this collaboration project, the collaborations between Twitch and the Origami Club possible. So thank you so much for her work on that. Um, what was it? Also, big shout out to Claire, my Twitch boss, what was it, but also, uh, politics are weird, but she's my Twitch boss. What was it? She did a lot of work for this. We're so grateful for her. Um, what was it? We, if you have questions, if was it, if you are watching and your student org would like to get involved in collaborating with us and, or at least start discussions about that, um, what was it? Contact us. Um, was it at, uh, was it at the link the moderator will throw down in the chat? Um, and, or just contact us um, at the NCC libraries. Um, hit us up on Ask Us. They'll send you towards us. Um, thank you so much. Final shout out. Thank you so much to Liana. Liana was it for being such an awesome host um, and doing such an awesome job today on the stream. Thank you, Andrew. Thanks, guys. All righty. Was it with that? I think. Uh, stay safe, y'all. Well, so do you have any last, do you have any final words? No, I mean, I was just, uh, I figured 
something to look at while you're giving yeah. the credits. I just figured I'd make my mound of things. It's great. Yeah. It's a great note to end back. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. So I, I think that's it, yeah. Yeah. Have a good day, y'all. All right, you too. Everybody, bye. Bye.